I had a real sort of surge of interest. And they came very quickly, a whole lot of songs in the style of Thriller, I think it was, mm. in, or Bad or something like that, sequenced things. And, um, oh, some of them, are, but to be honest with you, some of them have, have like been, um, what's the word, superseded by events. They've been outrun by history, mm. the things that happened in them. The, At um, the time. Yeah, yeah, things that have happened since. Yeah. They've been, sort of been a weird... Um, well, I'll tell you, I mean, this is sort of, it's macabre and it's, it's sort of dark. Yeah. But one of the songs that I wrote was a song about that he was um, Princess Diana's bodyguard. It was, he was singing as if he was Princess Diana's bodyguard. And I had a song, it was called... Um, oh, Lord, what the hell is its title? I can't remember. Diana. Diana. I can't even remember the title. It's quite a, it's quite a, s a slick number, mm -hmm. but I had um, I had two. There were too many things that seemed to that seemed to um, have come true since then. You know, the, the sort of one was called "After the Crash" about a dreadful car crash, and he was there was sort of the, the idea was songs that he might that he he could obviously never really do, but there might be sort of somewhere lurking in his head themes that might might be in him and. But I think his, his own story's got so dark now that it's, sort of it's, it's, it's made mine seem old-fashioned, mm. you know? Mm. I don't know if I'll ever do anything with them. I couldn't imagine a way I could use them. You know, I, I, don't, know, I don't know how I would use these songs. Or what. Someone would have to write a little, have to be like a little film or, you know, about a character like Michael Jackson. Then they could maybe use the songs. But as happens with lots of stuff that I write, I, I'll do it. I'll write it because I've got the idea for it. And then I'll move it, I'll push it aside, mm. and I'll do something that's more useful, mm. you know, something that will perhaps have a better chance in the marketplace. Looking back on, on the way of being so fascinated with these uh, people, which yeah. their lives are transferred to something, to, mm -hmm. to fiction. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking only about the Osborns. <laughs> uh, what do you think, what's, what made you so fascinated with? I don't, I, you know, I, I wish I had a, pro, a, a good considered answer for that. I don't know why. I t I tell, well, I'll tell you one reason why. One of your first problems if you write a song is getting people interested in it or getting people to understand what it is that you are singing about. So obviously if you sing a love song, that's something that most people can, uh, they can understand. Similarly, if you, if you sing about someone that they also have opinions about, that's another way of doing it. And I think my um, songs that were about other people were generally about people who were world famous. So immediately you've got through to the listener because, you know, as soon as someone thinks, okay, Bruce, he's singing about Bruce, okay, right, I know something about that person. Um, that's probably been a, bit, a little more obscure on the Elvis ones because I don't think I actually mentioned his name anywhere. Mm. But, you know, as soon as they, you do an interview or you tell people that that's what it's about, then they have a way into the song. So it might be that. It might be something as simple as, as, as um, finding subjects that people would be already interested in. Mm. And actually, it's an easy thing to do, you know, to write a song about someone that you know, we all have, a, we'll all have an opinion about, you know, um, I don't know, it could be Bill Clinton or something like that, where everyone thinks they know something about him, you know, or maybe they think they know far too much about him or what have you. In which case, the, you know, as a songwriter, you can get very quickly to the heart of things. Have you ever felt it yourself in your own life, uh, as a way of investigating things that happen to yourself, that your, your own life what is reality? What yes, is fiction? Well, the thing about I think the thing the thing about writing a song is that you you you're automatically saying something about yourself anyway, even in your choice of subjects. I mean, you know, you could conclude that I didn't like to talk about myself if I wrote songs about other people, or you might say, well, actually, you're writing about your own fantasies, or you're writing about some part of your personality that's attracted to that. You can read it two ways. So I think any you know any act of any act of writing is um, it's uh, autobiographical. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think you, I don't think you can escape that. Even if you think you even if you think you're distancing yourself from it, you are you are definitely writing about yourself. 
But I, I mean, I like that as well because you don't even have to address it. You don't have to address everything in the song directly to yourself. But if you've thought of it, if you've imagined it, then it's, it is telling you something about, about the writer. Guess this world needs its dreamers. Yes. May they never <laughs> wake up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, I have to ask you, Paddy, about yes. all these uh, like projects of yours, yes. which right. which actually <laughs> I call the megahertz. <laughs> <laughs> was one of them, uh, which actually turned up. Uh, so you have That's to, there you so go. So yeah, to give, a, yeah. give a comment on each one of them. Right. Uh, Total Snow, yeah. a Christmas song. I knew you were going to ask that one. I just guessed that. Total Snow. Christmas album. Yeah. I think it's got a basic problem, my Christmas album, which is that it's too sort of um, too grown up for Christmas. Mm. You can't have songs that are, that are sort of um, that may, you know, doubt certain truths about the the Christmas story, or yeah. you can't have religious doubt in a, <laughs> in a Christmas You have to song. still believe in Santa. <laughs> yes, right? you have to still believe in Santa. Yeah. And I'm not sure that, that my music these days believes in Santa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trouble. But some of them, you know, I, I do have a few from 1985, mm -hmm. which, which are um, The Madman on the Roof is one of them, about yeah. Santa Claus. Um, which actually works like an old-fashioned Christmas song because it's sort of it's got that lightness of spirit and it's got the sleigh bells. But one or two of them, one or two of the others were just too solemn for Christmas, and you can't have that. But I still, I, I think I might go back to that one day, mm -hmm. you know, and do do maybe a few instrumentals on it. Mm -hmm. I thought I was thinking the other day a good title would be "Has He Been Yet?" Because that's what kids always say. Has he been yet? Question mark. Mm. And it would just have to be an instrumental. You wouldn't need any words at all. And you'd give that, you'd give that complete atmosphere of a child's excitement on Christmas mm. morning. But, um, I, 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 you know, I, I think in America they're bigger on Christmas records than, mm. yeah. than in, um, in, certainly in Britain. I don't know how it is in Sweden. Is there a market for them, for a Christmas record? Oh, definitely. There is, yeah? Yeah, definitely. But I think there's also a market for the for the one who is uh, not uh, only for the Destiny's Child uh, yeah, sings no, no, Christmas sure. song. No, no. Th th there should be there's there a, there's be an alternative um, Christmas record. Yeah, the alternative yeah. Christmas record, yeah. so definitely, because there should be. Uh, people are so puzzled, so they play all kinds of shit no, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> during Christmas, that's because right. you're, you're trapped. No, you're um, trapped, that's yeah. right. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that was, my, that was my original idea, to have an alternative Christmas record. Then I thought, look, you know, who are you kidding? Who's going to play it for this if it's... You know, and also, you're going to put it on front of kids. You don't want them to be saying so, you know. So that's not quite right, is it not? And this business about the stable, you're not sure about the stable either. You know, I thought, I thought there's too much yeah. doubt in it, yeah. which seemed to me, 15 years ago, that was the whole point of the exercise, and that's a yeah. great idea. Now, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I thought he lived in Finland. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. uh, another one of those, uh, yes. those circulating. Sorrow the Fox. I've scrapped that. I mean, I've, I've, I've kept a few pieces of music from it. Mm. Swans. Um, Swans was uh, one of the tunes from it. Um, it was, I, I, I got this idea that I could actually write um, something that wouldn't need to be played live. That was what I thought. I thought I'd do something that you don't have to play live and you could get it done into a film. Um, which is still, you know, it's still, I still think like that sometimes. If you if you don't want to do a visual representation of yourself, write some music that you know works in a different thing with a cartoon or mm. or, or pictures of some other kind. And Zorro was that idea, but really, if I'm honest about it, I wrote some good songs, but most of them tended to be the same song. They tended to be the opening song of the piece, right? Mm. I just didn't have the story. I mean, I'd read stories about Zorro. And then I would slowly, over a period of time, see that there was going to be a film about him. There's even, there is a musical about Zorro. Mm. Someone did one a few years ago. I've never seen it or heard any of it, but I read in the paper someone was doing a musical about Zorro. So I just thought, no, 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 you've written the same song too many times. But the music is quite good. Some of the music is quite good. Uh, but I've n I haven't used it other than, sw other than uh, Swans. Mm. So I've scrapped that. Mm. Earth, the story so far. That's the story so far. Um, that's that's one of my. Um, that's one of the pieces that troubles me most because it's all written. 
I just didn't have the energy to record it. <laughs>